Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now today, I wasn't actually uh, prepared to do a patch notes video because I assumed, which I am actually correct, but I, I assumed that there wasn't really going to be like a, a patch to, you know, per se, because obviously next week we're getting the brand new expansion, if you like, we're getting the huge update, the new area, uh, the new Tolland area. Um, all of the new dungeons and bosses and stuff like that. So that's going to be really, really exciting. We're also going to be getting obviously the server merge where the uh, hyper boost servers are actually going to get shut down and we're going to be able to transfer to the, you know, the legacy servers. So um, I wasn't, like I said, even thinking of doing a video today, but there's another reason why I am doing the video. So I'm going to get into that in a minute. But before we jump into that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So you can see here quickly, I'll briefly show you the patch notes. Um, they're basically just saying to you guys, to us guys and girls that TL obviously um, is going to be able to launch soon. The new areas, Tolland, the new dungeons on Wednesday, the 21st, the second update and following the end of the uh, hyper boosting server, they're concentrating on server stabilization for the ser you know, server migration and consolidation. So for this week's patch, it's literally just a few tiny little bug fixes and server state stability. Um, but the, 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 the reason why I'm doing the uh, today's video is because today we have just gotten this um, developers, uh, you know, feed here. So a few hours ago, they wanted to talk to us about combat balance. Now, the combat balance is this is a this this is like this needs to happen. So I'm so happy to see that next week they are doing a huge combat rework. Um, the, the TTK basically right now from this new patch is is a joke. Basically, it's not fun. One shotting people. OK, fine. When you one shot people, it can be fun, but it's only fun for like five minutes. And then and then you get one shot and then you get one shot, one shot, one shot, one shot. It becomes tedious. And it, to be honest, it just becomes a little bit boring and it's just not fun. So, yeah, um, it, this is a much needed change. Now, the funny thing is they obviously um, they thought that the skill specializations and the rune specializations was actually going to fix the TTK. But of course, as we now know, it's made it completely worse. Um, <laughs> it's so fast now. And but this is the thing I want to say. As much as there's loads of people out there on the internet and whatnot that they really do not like NCSoft. I understand why, because they are notorious for the history of doing obviously serious pay to win in all of their games and stuff like that, bringing out great games, but then ruining it with pay to win and blah, blah, blah. I get that, right? They have also been doing it here and there in Throne and Liberty. But there's one thing that I will that I will keep on saying, I've said this many times now in other videos, I cannot fault them that I've, so far to me, they're like one of the best development teams when it comes to um, talking to the community with communication, with balance changes, with fixing stuff, when they are like admitting that they're wrong, when they've done some dodgy pay to win stuff and then, you know, the community gives them a huge backlash. They actually sit there, look at it and they say, you know what? Okay, fine. We thought that this was a good idea, but it's not. This is one thing that I, they are by far the best so far that I've seen in a long time. Um, you have obviously other people uh, like Yoshi P with Final Fantasy XIV. He is a, a, a you know insane great developer um, and talks to the, his community and stuff like that. But other than other than Yoshi P with Final Fantasy XIV. Um, so far, and NCSoft with uh, Throne and Liberty, I, I don't really see many other development teams being so good. Um, the only other company that I can mention is uh, Intrepid Studios, you know, Steve and Sharif with Ashes, and Cre Ashes of Creation, um, with how much they're, you know, speaking to the community and stuff. But that game isn't even out yet, right? So we'll see if they manage to keep that up when the game goes live. But anyway so yeah basically the tldr is um this is quite a long letter so i'm not going to go through the whole letter um and i don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be so basically tldr is the uh, expo is going to be getting nerfed because they they understand they realize that in pve expo dagger is literally king it's been king since day one and it's still king to this day right now um it's it's to the point where 
You'll even find uh, people will not accept you into a party unless you have Expo Dagger. So for the high challenged uh, dungeons, they, they only want Expo Daggers, Expo Daggers, Expo Daggers, which is just stupid, right? Um, and I know there's going to be some Expo uh, mains who are going to say, oh, but the you know Expo isn't that great when it comes to large scale PvP and stuff. Yes, I understand that. But it is what it is. We can't have everything. You can't be the king of the single target DPS in PVE and then expect to be the king of, you know, large scale uh, PVP and stuff like that. Expo Dagger is insane in small scale PVP as well. Um, so, yeah, so basically they're they're changing some stuff to do with the to do with the Expo. I'm going to, of course, pin this link in the comment section down below so you can go ahead and read everything. Just bear in mind, sometimes, obviously, the translations are a little bit off um but yeah they also another big thing that they're doing um where where is it let me just show you guys and girls uh here it is pvp balance changes so i was expecting the ttk time to kill to slow down <laughs> but obviously it's increased by a, a hell of a lot which they weren't they weren't expecting which is great to see that you know they, they they thought this would happen it hasn't happened they've acknowledged that um now i understand i do get what they mean by the runes because obviously with the rune system when you're farming you know the max max runes and stuff you can have a, a ton of extra health a ton of extra evasion and stuff like that so i get where their thought process was like lies but the problem is and they've, they've addressed it here is that they understand not everybody has the time or the patience to be farming all of these runes to level 60 right now. So what they're going to do to mitigate this for a little bit, they are um, next week in the August 21 update, we're taking a second step to increase the TTK. This will create a much more immediate effect than the rune system. So with the Toland update, the level cap is raising to 55, which we already know. And it says as your uh, character progresses from level 51, to 55 their hp is set to increase significantly we're also planning to add the previously unavailable pvp damage reduction stat this stat is designed to gradually increase from level 31 to level 50 you will notice a, a difference right away on the update next week so this is what i find really confusing and a lot of uh, people in the community um, agree and have said similar stuff they have pvp stats in the game you can literally log, log into your character press the p press p go into your stats page click on there there's a pvp section where it says obviously the previously unavailable uh, pvp damage reduction stat there is a ton of other pvp stats now i don't know why um they're not being used obviously maybe they had this idea when they first started making Throne Liberty to use these stats, and then for whatever reason, they decided to not to not turn them on, to not use them. Um, so hopefully, now that we're going to be seeing this stat obviously be turned on, if you like, hopefully they will start to realize that, hold on, why don't we just do it? Like, a simple fix, obviously I don't mean, I'm not, I'm not saying this from a development standpoint, but a simple fix logically is to have PvE stats, and then to have pvp stats because then that way you can balance weapons that are overperforming in pve so like the crossbow dagger overperforms in pve for example but then doesn't if you nerf it in pve it's going to get nerfed in pvp right so separate the stats and then that solves the issue like uh, new world did this amazon games did this in new world for the longest time um they would nerf like the musket um because it was too strong in pvp but when they, every time they nerfed it in PV, for PvP, it of course got nerfed for PvE, so it became absolutely useless in PvE. And then eventually they did separate stats um, to, to a degree. Um, so they could they could basically turn down the damage for PvP, and then they could they could turn up the damage for PvE. So I would love to see NCSoft, you know, copy and paste that. I mean, you're talking to Amazon Games. Amazon Games are publishing this for the, for the, for the West, so. I would love to see them work together and try to get that into, you know, Throne of Liberty. But anyway, that's the TLDR. Good changes. The only thing I'm a little bit like, uh, you know, awkward about, feel awkward about is obviously you're going to make the HP go up a lot, 
which is going to be great for you know glass cannon builds and stuff like that but it's also going to raise a tank's hp and tanks already have a lot of hp and also obviously they're in, they're doing a pvp damage reduction stat which is going to make the tanks even tankier now that is fine but we need to try and get it to where tanks can be tanky but not still destroy everyone as as well because i don't care if you're super tanky i just don't want you to be super tanky and destroy people with damage but yeah anyway they're they're, they're sort of moving in the right direction so I'm, I'm grateful to see that and yeah anyway i'll leave it there like share and subscribe and i'll catch you soon take care peace